You know, the rivers, the watershed, the lagoon, the beaches, the aquifer, it's all linked. The water has always represented our lifeline, our commerce, our livelihoods. It's crunch time for Florida uh, to secure our water future in Florida. Some tough decisions are going to have to be made. Our Water is a video series and it was really a big collaboration between the city and the county and our goal is to tell our story to tell the story of our water quality issues. To do that, we needed to answer some pretty big questions. We interviewed nearly a dozen experts. We knew first we needed to find out why people should care about water quality. Why is it important? It's the infrastructure, really, of our way of life and economy here on the Treasure and Space Coast. It really is, and that, that's what captivates people. I mean, when people want to visit Florida, they want to go to the beaches, they want to go to the springs, they want to go to the rivers. If we pollute those to the point that the animals, the bioorganisms, and the plants that live in them can no longer survive, there's no way to undo that, and it's, it's not a cost component. Next, we wanted to look at our history. How did we get here, and what problems are we still facing today? The trouble was water. Too much of it on one hand, not enough of it on the other. The sad answer is there's not just one thing wrong. In urban water quality, there's so many issues to address. Our research has gone a long way to really show that a lot of these algae blooms we're seeing are coming from inadequately treated sewage. 98.6% of our county was unsuitable for septic tanks, and yet on my watch alone, we put in over 48,000. From there, it was what are we going to do to solve these problems? and how can our homeowners and our residents help us? I think people who live further inland, you know, they say, well, I don't live near a waterway, so I'm really not having any impact. That's not true. Every single person, especially here in this community on the Treasure Coast, we all have an impact. Then, of course, what do we need to do now? What do we need to do next? And where do we go from here? The St. Lucie River C23 Water Quality Project that's out just south of the McCarty Ranch property, that project, it will hold and store 21% of that excess fresh water. Because we can't control the weather, we can't control the rain, but we can control where that water ultimately ends up. I think everybody plays a role in, you know, solutions. They're man-made problems certainly, and it's going to take man-made solutions. We're excited to share this series with our residents and visitors, and we plan to build on it as we continue to meet our water quality challenges of tomorrow. How can you put a price on, you know, the health of the river? It's the jewel of the Treasure Coast, you know, right here in our own backyard, and you can come here and launch your kayak, launch your boat, you know, you can go out, you can fish. I mean, what, how can you put a price tag on that?